So, my friends, I think I am live. This is PWIP. Shalom, hum exports or chawal business ke baare mein baat karenge. I am waiting for a few more of them to join. I am quickly introducing myself. I am Dhanraj from PWIP. At PWIP, we help people learn exports. We help people get into rice business. We help people become a rice exporter. And for this, all that you need to do, aapko jo bhi ye business ke liye chahiye rahega. Jaise samjho aap, uh, if you are wanting to learn different types of rice, if you want to learn different price point of rice ki kya chawal ka kya bao hai aaj ke din pe kyunki chawal ka jo bao hai wo continuous change hota rehta hai right if you want aap ko agar miller se connect karna hai aapko mill kahan kahan hai ye janna hai kitne variety ke chawal hote hain lot of people think that chawal ek hi hai ya basmati matlab masmati Basmati may be Pandra Taraki varieties hai. You have at least 15 varieties of Basmati, jo traded hai, jo normally trade kiya jata hai. Jesse 1 Gara Ikis, 1 1 2 1, Pandra so no, 1 5 0 9 Basmati, Suganda, Pusa, Sella, Creamy Sella, White Sella, Golden Sella, Steam, Raw. Ye all this will come in handy the more you learn the more stronger you become in your rice business or your rice export business. As I see a lot of people who have joined here, my friends, if you have any questions related to rice exports, exports, don't hesitate to ask me right away in the comment section here. As I get questions here, more questions here, I, we had posted on our Instagram that we are coming live. Agar aapka koi questions hai to pucho also. There were a lot of questions which already came to us, which I'm going to start answering. We have kept this question and answer mostly around exports. How to do exports, how to become an exporter, how to start from zero. How to, I mean, not know anything, but kind of start to learn something about exports. As I speak, Pratik, okay, aapka question already aya hai. What is the scope of HMT rice export and for domestic selling? First of all, I could, well, if I answer a question like this, I would have to tell the users as to what this HMT rice is. Kut jaga pe, there is, there is, uh, this rice is, HMT rice is also confused with RNR rice. Sometimes it is confused with uh, Kolam rice. Sometimes it is confused with, um, you know, sonam rice. So, बहुत सारे चावल, बहुत सारे region से, बहुत अलग-अलग नाम से जाने जाते हैं. Kolam, for example, खुद Kolam में Lachkari Kolam, Suti Kolam, Vada Kolam, ये सारे नाम सुनने को हमको मिलता है. So today, my friends, my main motive is to talk about export. So let's take um, Pratik's uh, question to start with HMT rice ke baare mein. so basically chawal export mein, rice export mein aisa hua hai ki uh, like for example last year India exported 80,000 crores worth of rice ye jo 80,000 crore jo chawal hai amount hai usme lagbag se about 40,000 crores is basmati and 40,000 crore is non-basmati now, in this 40,000 crore of non-Basmati, about 15,000 crores worth of rice goes to West Africa region itself every year. Another 15,000 goes to Middle East countries. And bacha hua 10,000 dollars, 10,000 crores worth of uh, rice exports happens to Southeast Asia, US, Europe, etc. Is me, non-Basmati me, the major variety of rice that is exported is white rice and parboiled rice. 
तो ये जो वेराइटीज एच एम टी कोलम सोना मसूरी गोविंद भोग मट्टा राइस ऑल दिस फॉर्म अ वेरी स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ दर्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर द स्मॉल पोर्शन विच इज दिस एच एम टी सोनम कोलम एक्सेट्रा दीज आर वेरी हाई प्राइस्ड गुड क्वालिटी ग्रेन्स which means these kind of quality goes to say middle east countries you know where people can pay are okay and they want this kind of a higher value grain but then the price of this cannot be even you uh, know more than a particular price range also for the reason that agar kuch han kuch had se upar price chala jata hai so then it starts to compete with basmati rice तो लोग लोग ऐसा सोचते हैं कि मैं बासमती ही खरीद लूंगा खरीद लूंगा सो दीज आर दिंग्स टू कीप इन माइंड माई फ्रेंड्स सो एच एम टी रॉ राइस हैज अ गुड डिमांड इन मिडल ईस्ट कंट्रीज कोलम राइस हैज गुड डिमांड इन मिडल ईस्ट कंट्रीज कोलम रिसेंटली फ्रॉम द लास्ट वन ईयर हैज गॉट गुड डिमांड इन सिंगापोर सिंगापोर इज टू सेल सोना मसूरी राइस एज पोनी राइस देर now people have slowly upgraded to kolam rice kolam steam rice in singapore and the quality that that uh, singapore wants the kolam <coughs> is typically a variety that is milled in miryalpura region of telangana the kolam steam these are the kind of varieties that uh, singapore prefers so lot of people asked me um, uh, you know how to join pwip जो हमारा जो प्लेटफॉर्म है हमारे साथ लगभग सात हजार लोग जुड़ चुके हैं यूट्यूब के जरिए लगभग दस हजार लोग जुड़ चुके हैं इंस्टाग्राम के जरिए एंड देन वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ नो ट्रेडर्स एक्सपोर्टर्स एंड अ लॉट ऑफ एस्पायरिंग ऑन्टरप्रनर्स हैव बिकम एक्सपोर्टर्स विद दस वी गिव अ लॉट ऑफ राइस एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर टू पार्टनर्स हु डू ट्रेड विद दस देर are a lot of users who are connected to us about 20000 plus users are connected to, to us on whatsapp so there is nothing like ki aap hamare sath jud kaise sakte hain because this was one of the question that, that was asked hamare sath judna bahut easy hai ya humko youtube instagram facebook what you know fo mein follow karo ya humko whatsapp message karo hum aap se aapko call karke hum se aap se baat karenge ya hum aap message kar sakte ho hum hamare whatsapp mein एट थ्री वन डबल सेवन फोर नाइन टू सेवन फोर तो ये जो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई एम गोइंग टू पुट आवर व्हाट्सएप नंबर विच इज एट थ्री वन डबल सेवन फोर नाइन टू सेवन फोर आई जस्ट पुट द व्हाट्सएप नंबर आप हमको व्हाट्सएप करो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एक्सपोर्टर इफ यू वॉन्ट एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर इफ यू आर नॉट इवन हैविंग अ कंपनी रेडी विद यू डोंट वरी अबाउट इट जस्ट कॉल एस वी कैन हेल्प यू रजिस्टर योर कंपनी and we can help you get your first order and everything will be hand held by us we will give you the order we will give you payment assurance we will give you a short buyer we will handle end to end of your export business documentation we will do for you everything we will do it for you and we will deliver margins to you that is been our biggest strength right now at pwip my friends let me move on very quickly to other questions that has come so uh, pushkar kumar is asking please tell us about basmati whiteness first of all my friends whiteness by itself is a very good topic to talk about we have been trying to address this uh, you know uh, requirement this issue a lot of times a lot of people don't know that it is good to test the whiteness of rice so for example if you are an exporter shipping export uh, exporting white rice raw rice how will you know how much white is white and how much yellow is yellow because normally kya hota hai when uh, uh, jaise for example third party inspection companies surveying companies sgs geochem ka uh, jo uh, field staff hote hain when they go to the rice mill to check the quality of the rice they normally check for moisture broken percentage chalky discolored grain damaged grain any dead or live weevils any foreign materials etc etc but one thing testing becomes very important the whiteness of rice how can you test the correct whiteness of rice with your naked eyes because sometimes the lighting inside the mill might be very poor 
Sometimes it might be raining outside or cloudy outside and the light might be poor. Sometimes the person who is having might not be able to do a correct judgment. But your customer, some customer want, wants white rice which is having a good whiteness. If it is yellow, they, so, they say yellow bro, the cargo is very yellow, the rice is very yellow, not good quality, bad quality. You know, these kind of complaints come. Because in white rice, there is a concept of fresh milling, you know, rice to rice. So these normally rice tend to turn its color or tend to become a little bit dull or tend to become a little bit yellow, right? So normally, if you have to test the whiteness, you have to take the samples from the mill, send it to the lab. The lab, all this will take the courier time, the testing time, the results to come. All this will waste about seven to eight days easily for you. By the time the rice which was there in the mill is already sold by the miller to somebody else. Your customer is already unhappy that kitana time laga, laga bhai. And the lab which is testing you whiteness for you also will charge you a very big bomb. Minimum 5,000 to 6,000 rupees to test whiteness. So, go look for it. There is something called as a whiteness meter. You, it is a very small pocket friendly whiteness meter. So, normally, customers, buyers who are in Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, you know, these countries, Philippines, these countries they like the rice to have uh, to have good whiteness in minimum 39 to 40 at least has to be there the whiteness of rice african countries a few countries for them if the whiteness is 37 to 38 also it it works but how will you test this whiteness so there is a quick whiteness meter you can go on our website you can connect with us and find out more about this right so basmati again what happens is if your order is for white cella creamy cella golden cella how will you make out the color difference so we have defined the color uh, you know whiteness of these rice as well the white cella can be somewhere between 26 to 27 the creamy cella can be somewhere between 24 to 25 the golden cella can be somewhere between 23 to 24 so this is how you can make out the whiteness. So basically, even if your team, your third party inspection company is going to the mills to check quality, you can call for samples and you can keep doing your assessment through a whiteness meter. Right. So Pratik is again saying in our area, HMT and RNR are different. Where can I verify the rice as HMT? So basically RNR uh, mostly is found in Karnataka and Andhra regions. HMT is mostly found in Gondia, Nagpur and Maharashtra regions. Uh, RNR and HMT, yes, it is very difficult to find out the grain uh, type of grain. But RNR is a very uh, RNR is a very thin grain. Uh, you know, uh, looks uh, very similar to uh, kolam. Aditya Agarwal is asking, what is payment cycle? And Kishore is asking, how much capital is needed for rice export business? So see, the capital needed for the rice export business is based, if you are doing an order, you can always do a, uh, your orders which is just one container also. And if it is one container, for example, Sona Masuri, it might cost you around eight, 7 to 8 lakh rupees, right? I am quickly taking my calculator, assuming that your uh, Sona Masuri price is 30 rupees a kg, which is 30,000 uh, 30, rupees a ton. In two, there will be 25 tons, for example, in the container. That's about 7,50,000 rupees. If you're doing a swarna rice, for example, which is 23,000 rupees a kg, for example, into 25 tons is 5,75,000 for a container. But the orders that we work on at the moment, we do orders minimum 10 containers in a particular invoice or in a beer. So, if it is 5,75,000, then it is into 10, which means you, you need at least 57 lakhs rupees of uh, capital to buy rice. And then you need another 2-3 lakhs or so for your CHA services, for, for freight forwarding, etc. Right? All in all, you might need about 60 lakh rupees to make. So, if it is 5 containers, you would need about 30 lakh rupees. If it's one container, you need anywhere between six to eight lakh rupees. So this is how it is. But at the moment, at PWIP, we are doing only uh, 10 container lot sizes. And the payment cycle is uh, roughly about uh, 20 to 40 days. 20 days for shipments going to, say, Singapore and or, say, Malaysia, where the ports are very closer, to 30 to 40 days where uh, ports are a little bit far away from India. Like, for example, 
if you buy rice today from the mill for the rice to come to the come to chennai cfs or chennai port for and all for all the 10 containers to come together empty containers to be called there all the you know loading stuffing fumigation custom clearance documentation etc and finally to go on sit on the vessel it might take you anywhere between 7 to 10 days in chennai for example and 10 days you have loaded onto the vessel vessel will give you the bl next day and you will send the bl scan copy to the customer the vessel will take 7 days to reach singapore so within the next 7 within the next 7 days customer will make the payment to you why because he knows that the vessel is going to come and i have to clear the containers i can only clear the containers if i have a clearance from the shipping line and the exporter you can get shipping line and uh, you know you can get the clearance from the exporter only if you make the payment to the exporter because almost most of the payments are all on documents for a lot of people for whom exports is the first time you have not done any export before you should understand one good part about export is that the buyer will never be able to clear the cargo in his port unless you have told the shipping line to surrender the cargo to surrender the bill without that he cannot take the cargo or you can courier the original bill document to the buyer he can take that original document to and go to the you know agent and to the port and he can get it cleared but you should not give the original uh, you know bill because you should first and scan copy to the customer ask for the payment so the customer will transfer the payment to your bank account once you receive your uh, you know payment only then you have to send your documents to your customer so that is the process so which means your payment you receive it first on bl and after you receive the payment then you you know courier over or scan copy of the bl you send it to the buyer which means this bl is a very good instrument to ask for payment so kitna acha hai na kyunki agar domestic market mein agar aap kisi business ko ya kisi company ko ya kisi ko supply karoge you will have to supply on credit basis fir 30 days 45 days 60 days 90 days ka credit rehta hai usme fir aapko bar bar piche lagna padta hai aapki payment ke liye so export mein it is very clear you you put your capital to buy the rice and everything put it into containers load it onto the ship get your bl document send a scan copy to the B, a scan copy of bl to your buyer the buyer will make the payment to you instant immediately and then you after getting the payment then then you release the cargo to the buyer so which means until you get your payment the cargo is still in your in your control even if the cargo has reached reached america right so so i'm going to take a few more questions which has come uh, you know uh, before to us on instagram so there is a question uh, there's a question related to payment authority there's a question related to you know uh, you know what all documents go into uh, this rice exports there's a lot of things that has come and i'm trying going to try and going to answer one of them one by one right if you buy rice uh, will you get cd what is the net profit after bank in the order? How do we start distributing for rice brand? After vessel load, uh, do we get payment on, uh, you know, BL, BL? So these are the few questions that we have, we have it has come. How do you start distribution of your own brand of rice? There's a few questions like this which has come. So let me take uh, these questions one at a time. So uh, first one is in when you buy rice, is there a uh, four? Do you get four percent CD? CD is nothing but cash discount. It happens in few regions where when you are buying rice, the terms uh, and conditions of the payment. I mean the payment terms will be that if you uh, pay me within the seven days, you can get a, a ca discount, cash discount of one percent, two percent, or ten percent, right? So. What, what happens is you have to check this but if you are new to the you know buyer what will happen was also to the miller the miller will not allow you to even take your cargo without making payment to him because you don't know him right so in a lot of cases you will have to pay make upfront payment can we export under our brand name yes if the buyer agrees if the buyer ex agrees you can definitely export in your brand name right but your buyer has to agree but in the most cases in rice exports the buyer will send you uh, his artwork 
you have to print those bags in his artwork and then export and it is very easily you can uh, print it sometimes it is a pp bag sometimes it is uh, you know bopp bag sometimes it is uh, polyethylene plastic bags sometimes it is jute bags sometimes it is 1 kg 5 kg 10 kg 18 kg 30 kg 25 kg 50 kg a lot of packaging sizes are there and all kinds of you know packaging is possible for more information go to our youtube channel we have recently just put videos on packaging and all types of packaging right so um you know so uh it is it is very interesting to do this business my friends um you know you can do this export business even while working you can do this export business uh you know uh you don't need much intervention uh you know if you are actually uh working with us on shipments you could be doing the spice export business but wanting to add rice export to it you know a lot of things that you can do with your business right so uh, a few more questions uh, are something like um, uh, distribute how to start distribution for your own brand which is india in india again as you know in wholesale markets there are distributors you have to supply to them which they will then supply to uh, you know kirana shops hotels restaurants etc dekh lekin ye wale business mein shayad credit period bahut ho sakta hai customers might ask credit you know if you if a lot of customers ask credit and up ki sabko supply karte ja rahe ho then you will need a lot of working capital and you have to also secure your payment so domestic business mein ye thoda uh, is a disadvantage compared to a export market right so what is the net profit uh, and what the payment bl pe milega na is the question that has come yes in our concept that we are talking about in and in majority of the rice export concept this is what you should be focusing on you should get payment on bl once you get the payment that payment either char panch din delay ho sakta hai but payment milega uske baad hi aap bl surrender karoge so this is one thing that you have to keep in mind right so that is one uh, great thing that you have to keep in mind it's and it's very uh, it's, it's a very big advantage coming to the last question that i have is what is the net profit so what we do is in a product like uh, you know non basmati you know majorly the you know uh, the margins is roughly around 5 dollars per ton 6 dollars per ton you know or whatever capital you invest you will get roughly around 1.5 to 2% uh, you know return on investment in a period of say for example 30 days which means in in a year you are getting like 20, 20 18 to 22% uh, return on investment on your capital in a span of one year if it's one month you get anywhere between 1.5 to 1.8% per month as your return on roi the return on investment which is a good if you have to keep capital in fd or any other low uh, finance product you, you can uh, put it into rice exports and you know you know build a business out of it and still earn 18% to 8 22% per annum on this right so when you say for uh, five to six dollars i will make a quick cal calculation on my phone for you which is six dollars per ton into in a container say assume that there are 26 tons so you get 156 dollars in a container into 10 containers is what you're going to do so you're going to get 1560 dollars into say today's dollar is about 82 rupees so you will make 1 lakh 27920 rupees for the 10 container export that you are doing right so this is in the multi this is in multiples so you could probably do 20 containers 30 containers or you could just stick to 10 containers so um so uh, i have a few uh, how much time you take for payment i have called your team told me that you'll get payment on scan copy appeal go on those vessels but we will pay payment when the importer will get arrival notice so i have bharat kataria saying that uh, you know i was told that i'll get payment on scan copy of bl but when the vessels uh, when but uh, but the buyer is saying that we'll get the payment on arrival notice yes it's a very interesting question that i want to touch upon right now see what happens if you're exporting to for example vietnam when you export to uh, ex, ex, when you're exporting to Vietnam, there is one thing so, which is different from exporting to Singapore. When you export to Singapore, say for example from Chennai, the vessel goes directly from uh, Chennai to Singapore. But if you are exporting to Vietnam, the vessel first goes to Port Klang in Malaysia and then waits for the next vessel and then goes to uh, you know Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. So a lot of times, sometimes what happens is the you know the the containers 
take us some more time it might be 3 to 4 days or 4 to 5 days sometimes in port clang for the change over into other feeder vessels so buyers are what happens they normally place a lot of orders but they see that the cargo is not coming as fast as they thought it would right so they go on making payment then their their payment also is going to get stuck they are, they also have to do a working capital management right so normally what to customers do if the vessel has left today and in the next uh, 6 to 7 days it is going to reach singapore the customers are going to do what the customers are okay 7 days it is reaching me they know that they are going to immediately make the payment but when you are actually exporting to for example vietnam if the transit days is 13 days and the bl has come today so the buyer is going to be a little tricky he will say okay the cargo to reach it is going to take 13 days Today, just the BL came, okay, let me make payment after four to five days or just three or four days before vessel arrival. So these kind of things, customers do manipulate and manage their working capital. What if you are exporting to say some West African port? The transit time is 40 days. You have given the BL today to the customer, but for the customer, it will take 40 days for the vessel to reach. So if you are in the customer's shoes also, you would try to manage this. So the customer sometimes say that, okay, आज मैंने पेमेंट भी किया तो मुझे कल वेसल तो नहीं आ रहा है वेसल तो आएगा 40 दिन के बाद तो मैं आज पेमेंट क्यों करूं मैं एक काम करता हूं एक 20 दिन रहेगा जब कार्गो आने के लिए या 10 दिन जब रहेगा या 5 दिन जब रहेंगे वेसल आने के लिए देन दैट इज व्हेन आई विल मेक द पेमेंट so this is one such thing it is all a relationship so we have this is a challenge that we also face we are also working with our customers so that they can make payment faster on presenting the BL copy so that our exporter also can get faster payments so that they can, with that funds, they can again invest and make an, another shipment, right? So this is how it is. It's business after all, my friends, right? It's business for you. It's business for an importer. It's business for a CHA. It's business for freight forwarders. It is business for us. It's business for all of us. Right. Let's all be very, very positive. We will make rice export one of the next big thing happening at PWIP. And for all of us who are actually, you know, uh, connected to us, uh, the PWIP family that we have built, we are very, very inspired by our own users, the way in which they take decisions, the way how they, ma you know, manage their trade, how they manage their finances and have grown. We have we have exporters who have started with just five containers orders with us and today they have almost shipped about 200 containers with us to various ports like Pasir Gudang, Singapore, Ho Chi Minh, Haipong, Tawau, Sandakan and a lot of other ports my friends. With this, I am going to end this live session right now. I am looking forward to coming back you know, uh, soon. Uh, we also come live on few other platforms as well. And we come out with a lot of information related to exports and knowledge on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. So, so stay connected with us, my friends. And let's make rice export a very big opportunity and a business for all of us. Thank you.